Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another iteration of Making the Sausage. It's been a while. How's everyone doing? We've changed a bit of the camera angle just a bit so we can focus on the main course right here. So how's everyone doing? Ralves is here. How you doing, dude? Dude, um, we're gonna, go I just wanna like get to it. Just, just get to it. So what are we doing? We're modding this. Anas the Reaper, it's been a while, it has actually, dude. Oh, you should have seen, like, um, a couple weeks, well, not a couple weeks, the week before, I had a fever for, like, half a week. It was a nightmare. But I'm back, dude. Back, back stronger, dude. <laughs> so, um, we're gonna have to mod this from, from the ground up. So, I want to make sure that it's in the angle. I don't want to be, um, covering things or you're missing out on what the hell I'm doing. That's why I put a little bit higher. Just to look down on what I'm doing. So, um, I'm curious as to how fast I can do it. I don't. I want to do it quickly, but I don't want to do it incorrectly. If that makes sense. Oh, Ralves, dude, smart man. Absolutely appreciate it, dude. Tier two sub. Tier two sub. No. What? Don't tell me you upgraded. You got the sick emote now. My favorite emote. I gotta say, T2 is my favorite emote so far. Hell yeah, dude. That's the first T2 sub I've ever had. That's legendary, dude. Appreciate it. Holy crap. So, there you go. There you go. Grinding that Tekken, son. Grinding. So, so what we want to do is with the Razor Panthera, the, um, the top cover isn't... Um, removable like if you like for example the panthera evo the new one you just change screws pull it out pop it in it's that simple this one is glued to the top make grinds are good for threatening people <laughs> so what we have to do is that we have to actually pry this top off um and not just um uh, what do you call it just take it off you have to actually pry it off so before we do any of this stuff, we actually have to take off everything that's vital. So I've already unplugged it, so you know, we don't want to do anything silly like that. So, um, I've got, let me just bring out some basic tools that we're going to be needing. But first, um, we have to take out every electric here, because electronic here. Yeah, heat gunning, that's it. So, we have to remove every sensitive electronic on top of here, you know, that we can that we can remove for example this cannot be removed so we're gonna try and not put too much heat on this section obviously pcb and the controls but like remove the stick remove the buttons um even though i can just remove the lever the the shaft itself and leave it underneath uh i don't know if it's just wise just, just take it off better be safe than sorry it's not that hard to put back on so don't have to worry about it so what we'll do so the good thing about the panthera right is that you sure you can't remove the piece of it? There's no need to. Honestly, in my opinion, there's no need to. It's it's inside this box here. It's not exposed to anything serious. So um, all you need to do is just take off the buttons and the stick or the bottom collar. Your grommet fuck. No, that's why I'm removing the whole base. That's gonna go out. I don't want to mess with it. You know, it's like there's no need for a risk. So the good thing about the Panthera is that every button is color coded up here with a little map. So okay, this gray is L2. Uh, the black and white is L1, blah, 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 and so on and so forth, right? So that's all nice. So you don't have to actually keep tabs on what's what. It's already written there for you. So, are oh, the top PCB. Uh, honestly, I won't be pointing towards it. It won't be... I don't have a heat gun, heat gun. I just got a hairdryer. And that's... They can be pretty hot. And I'll just start from the bottom end. You'll see when it happens. So let's just start removing these little tabs. Now, luckily enough... These are pretty easy to take out by hand, which is good. There's not a lot of resistance when it comes to taking them out. Yeah, yeah. So, let's pack this out. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Surprise! I'm actually very surprised that um, it comes out this easy, which is good. A lot of buttons, man. Okay. That was such a crazy 
Okay, there we go, that's all that. So that's very nice, man. I love the cable management in this thing. It's unreal. I've had some sticks that are extremely tight. You're right, right. Yeah, that's what I was um, afraid of. That's why I had pliers, but I didn't want to use them because it can be a bit too aggressive. Mm. Recrimped. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah. So that's one side off. Now, with the with the um, actual thing here, I'm gonna use the little screwdriver thingamajig here that comes inside the box. Um, I saw the message on Discord. Ah, oh, that's good. Nice one. Basically, they were recrimped. Yeah. So I'm gonna take the flat end side and actually go underneath the the crown lever and remove the E clip. Here's the E clip. I'm gonna go underneath and use it as a lever. There you go. Okay, there you go. And it's out. There you go. Don't lose that. You lose that, you lose your life. What you can know you ditched him. There you go. Excellent. That's that. You know that you got your priorities straight when you ditch another streamer for MTS, dude. No doubt about it. Actually, let me. Don't forget, get your, your your documents are out, dude. Here's the manual, dude. 114 pages of goodness across many games. Don't worry. I'm just gonna pop this here because it's gonna fall down. So, so that's out. Levers out. Now the actuator is just stuck in there, but it doesn't usually plop out unless you do it yourself. So just leave it there. And then I'm gonna get a fancy old. I stick a flathead between the openish parts of the E-clip and twist the screwdriver instead of pushing. Yeah, I just like put it in and then just raise it and it pops out. Oh, the actuator for me doesn't fly at all. So, let's just unscrew this. Pretty straightforward. Okay. One. This is what I forgot. With the hand to stop, fresh ones go in new dimensions. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, they, they fling out if you don't take care of it. Okay. Down here, one more. That should be it. Yeah. Oh, and we got a first catch. Okay, what I forgot to do was remove this clip, so that's not a big deal. Okay. So, that's the crown lever, right? So, so I'm just going to leave that here. So on top, there goes that, and now let's remove the buttons, right? Now they've been unplugged, all you have to do is just squeeze these ends, pretty much. As far as I know, that's all you need to do, right? There you go. And there's a button. Very straightforward. So if you see here, there's these little um, squeezing points. So you just squeeze them and they pop out. It's, it's super straightforward, dude. Dude, I love these buttons, man. I gotta say. that real quick pretty straightforward just keep doing that okay so there's no particular way of putting them back in it's just you just slide them in until they click it's not like you have to meet a certain orientation so keep that in mind so let me just all oh, right so okay the three bottom ones here there's no easy way to pinch him, honestly. Okay, I got this one. I might have to use this underneath. There you go, there you go. So that's what the trick is. So because you can't put your finger underneath to squeeze the bottom one, just put the flat head underneath and just raise it and that will pop it out straight away. Very straightforward. Yeah, two more. Let's get these out. 
So there's that. All the, the batons are out. All the stick is out. So, of course, heat gun time. So, <clears throat> what we're going to need to do is actually heat up the plastic here and then pry it open one of these bad boys. So, somewhere, I don't know, in the time. <laughs> Yeet gun. Okay. Yeah. We're just going to heat it up a bit. So I'm starting from the corner further away from the PCB, right? And there's also the start and select button on the sides, so I'm not doing it over that as well. I just want to know um, how long it takes for the glue to actually warm up. It's really... Oh. <laughs> I'm fading, dude. Appreciate for the pepino action. Hell yeah. I ain't gonna lie, it's getting pretty stinky. So let's see if I can get it in there. Okay, we got in. Okay, we're getting it in. We're getting it in. Okay, so it's actually moving. This is very stressful. <laughs> okay, get used to doing basic wing god fist with a Mishima. Then you will fix your Z motions. Oh yeah, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Okay, we're making progress. Okay, we're making progress. Ah. Hell yeah, we're back. This is the content I signed up for. Hope it didn't harm the PCB. Yeah, I don't think so. It should be fine. Honestly, I don't want it to snap, even though it doesn't matter. I just want to say that, I just want to know that I can remove it without snapping that shit. Yeah, train, dude. Train every day, dude. A little bit. Movement. Like, as soon as you can do electrics properly, it's so much fun. It's so satisfying. It's one of the most fun things to do in Tekken. Your wrist hurts. Mm. 
It could be the way you're holding the stick. Um, oh, come on. This is making me really nervous, dude. <laughs> Hear it crackling. It's just little bits of glue. Ugh. There's a lot of goddamn glue in this thing. Which is a good thing. Should have glue, right? Oh, it snapped. Ah, we didn't make it. We didn't do a clean cut. Fuck. I was hoping we'd get the clean one. Come on. Almost. Oh! And there you go. There you go. Old mate. And here's the gross shit. Oh wow. There's a whole bunch of like paint that came off the metal itself. Wow. Okay. Very, very sticky. Very disgusting, dude. So yeah, this is extremely gluey, and you can't do anything with this right now. So what we got, so you know, if you goofed up, if you come on your sock, you don't know what you need, need to remove that gaff, goof off, mate. That's what you need. So this stuff is pretty fucking toxic, that's all I gotta say. So I tested it earlier, um, uh, what was it, like a few months back, not a few months, yeah, well, I got, actually, this whole modding situation was supposed to happen like a day after my birthday stream or something like that. It was supposed to be for my birthday, but I've been skipping it and skipping it because of things happening that it's gone into next year and I'm doing it now. So yeah, back then I was testing to see if this um, burns my skin um, and it kind of does. So I do have nitrile gloves for it just in case. So if I don't want to mess with it because this stuff is supposed to dissolve um, adhesives and paint tar, oil, and all that kind of disgusting shit. So I'm just gonna leave it on for a bit to, to eat away at the, at the, um, at the uh, glue, and then we will scrape it off later. So, just use this as a leverage. Beautiful, so, it looks like a Zippo bottle. So, it smells like fucking, whew, it smells good. Yeah, I'm just gonna drop some all over the place. I'm gonna try and hope for it not to drip inside but cannot guarantee anything right now. I am putting on my bare hands, but what can you do? Damn. Is it eating out the paint? Wow. I'm just spreading it over. Because I don't want it to, like, go anywhere specific. There's a lot that needs to go on, dude. I just dripped a little bit off the edge, and it's, like, scarred the plastic. It's so strong. Not the end of the world, but, hey. It's like nothing is moving, man. Nothing is budging. This shit is grimy. Okay. But you see how much like paint I'm losing as well? But and then, you know, I'm going to cover that anyways, but... <coughs> it's just a bummer to see it go. Like that. Either isopropyl alcohol could d dissolve this. I imagine. I just not. I don't know how I feel about mixing fluids right now. <laughs> Let me grab something different. Let's see if um we can get a different result using isopropyl instead. Be right back. Well, I like you, the king of metho, used it all up. So there's only like a squirt, a little spritz in it. So I don't even know what to do. It's like okay, great. Now what? This is shockingly good at dissolving um glues. I should have thought of this one instead. 
I gotta say, Isopropyl's doing the best job so far, but I don't have enough. I literally don't have enough. It's just, it's empty. It's just like a drop in there. What? Oh, man. <laughs> We're getting a new payload here. Check this shit out. So we've got... Pure acetone. A pure acetone. And we've got another bottle of this, which actually works. So let's see what it, where our luck sets. I'm gonna just drop some of this on the spatula because it's turned to shit. It reminds me when I got those ghetto sticks and I tried to peel it oh, off. Jesus Christ. With no acetone, dude. This is my thumb some time, dude. Four hours later, I threw it away. <laughs> <laughs> nice. There you go. Peel it off completely. Dude, I peeled that shit off and it smelled like 10 fucking sweatshops, dude. Oh my god, dude. Mama mia, dad. Dude, I think, I think, maybe Metho is the king. Metho is like, you can't go wrong with Metho. It's good for you. Like, you, you pour it on your hands and it actually dissolves the glue. Yeah, it's good for you, good for the stick, dude. Is the shit like you got work better? I don't know, it, it is acetone, but... Oh, it's doing alright. Michael. Everything seems alright now. Yeah. There's just a few stains on the side. Not the end of the world, doesn't matter. Okay. So I think that the, the... If I had to talk about what I use to remove it, this is supposed to be for the exact purpose of removing glues and all these adhesives and all that kind of stuff. Not that great, to be honest. This is probably number one. I find isopropyl alcohol dissolves glue like it's none of its business. And then you got acetone, which is not bad as well. Very close. I, I can't really tell which one I prefer more, but I think this one has just done a better job overall. Like, but if you had either of these, you're fine. This specific glue remover, shit. Like not even like not even close. So. Let me just grab the box here and you can see that this is the plexi that's going to go on top of it right now. So as you can see, there's um, four holes that's supposed to line up to this. And apparently, I got this from Focus Attack. And Focus Attack had two different thicknesses of this um, plexi. I think it was like, I can't remember the exact metrics, I think it was 0.6 and 0.8 um, and what I heard out of the two they were, they were never just perfect because the thing with the Panthera as is the regular one the um, the flush feeling over the edges and onto the plastic is seamless it's smooth you don't feel any kind of skips down here there's no grippy bits um, but what, what I saw is that the the 0.6 version this one here is a little bit shallow so it might do a little bit of a drop at the end, but I heard that the um, the 0.8 version is a bit too thick and it prevents like buttons from clicking into place. It will kind of pop them out from time to time. And I'm like, no way. I'm not willing to compromise, you know, buttons flying out um, just so I can have a better, thick, a more flush feeling. Um, but they said that the negative thing about the 0.6 is that there will be some kind of banding on the upper part. Like a little bit of a bridging, bowing, that's the word. So we'll see if that's actually the case, for me at least. Um, but yeah, it should be, I, I was pretty alright with the compromise of going with a thinner version. Because otherwise it's just not, I don't know. <clears throat> I'd rather have buttons in than, you know, a better feeling but buttons out. So. But let's see what we got. So, so let's start. Pretty nice. But before we grab this, let's get the artwork out, right? Am I right or am I right? So, when it comes to artwork, you gotta get the best. You gotta make the best and print the best. So, this is what we got. Very, very clean, very aesthetic. And yeah, we're just gonna pop this bad boy on. And then, as you can see, every button is actually um, printed out as well. So, I might have to pop out those buttons in order to put it on, right? So, my question is how, in what sequence am I gonna do it? So, I probably, um, 
Put the put the artwork on first. Then actually, here's another thing to keep in mind. These four screws need to be removed and replaced with some longer ones. So if you see here, you got this little Allen key, and you got these screws. on some stickiness but then again it's proving my arm let's move on to this so here's the artwork right very clean very aesthetic but the question is is actually I really like the quality of the print it's very nice so that's what it should be above it's pretty fucking sweet See, it, there's, each button has a pop out. All right, let's pop one out right there. So these buttons have pop outs, and they've got two rings. So my question is, the the outer ring, do we keep that? Is it usable? I don't know, because I know that um, I got a pack. We've got a pack of crystal buttons, right? So we're going to swap them out and pop the interior inside these. But the, um, uh, but the outer rings, these outer ones, I've no idea where they sit. So let's see what we've got. So there's that. Okay, that's it. Very clean. Let's drop the plexi on top. Nice shoot. Very nice. Okay. Let's get these screws in. Jesus fingerprints. This is why I don't plexi. Ah, uh, couldn't give a fuck. Finger tightening before I get to the like this from GM on the West Coast. I mean, we never get to see high, extremely high level league players anyway in America, right? Like, very, this is so very rare. Right yeah. Let's grab this little thing. Uh. And the floor break stage. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the stage is set. This should be good. Lee is very good at this, too, though, at floor break. So is uh, Jen as well. Yeah, Both characters. Okay, backing up. This is the slide. Okay, yeah, that's it. <clears throat> Pretty tight. Now here's the thing, okay. So buttons are done. Plexi's been set. And this is the Boeing that they're talking about. I can see it now. Okay. Now I'm assuming if buttons are holding it in, it won't flex as much. But left alone, it kind of pops up. But honestly, I don't really care about that. It's fine. It's not a big deal. There's that. One's done. Now we've got to do the buttons. This is going to be something I haven't done before. So we'll see how that goes. Now I'm going to open these properly. Yikes. Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake, it just drops every time. How am I going to keep that in here and then open the next one next to it? Oh, it's so annoying. There we go. Got it. Got it. There we go. Lordy, lordy, lordy. Golden Lord's blessing for OTGF success. Yikes. Okay, so here's the actual switch broken apart. So we're going to do two things to this switch, right? We're going to add... So we're going to run the, um, the inside of the artwork 
first and then we're gonna well first we're gonna do this we're gonna add these little pads inside that cut the noise always wanted to try one of these so I've got a pack for these so okay there's a shiny side and a matte side so I'm gonna just put a shiny side down There you go. I put shiny up because it makes a bit stiffer. Mm. So you said you put shiny side up. Mm. And it still dampens anyways. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna listen to you. I'm gonna listen to you. Yeah. Okay, so shiny side up. We're doing it this way. Okay. Uh, right here. And then we've got to open the top. So this is the actual risky bit because there's these little tiny little hooks here that you're supposed to open to get in. I've got a printout about these. Using your fingernail, pop open the cap off the rest of the plunger. Oh, really? So I have to find the little tick here. There's a little tick here, and then I have to pop it open using my nail. What? Here we go. I think if you twist it, it pops. Hey, twist and pop. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Uh huh. This is a plastic cap. Okay. Now here's the question. So there's four notches for this. Okay. Okay, that's in alignment. I'm going to grab this. It's going to place it on top. Okay. Yeah. So here's that. And by clear, this mean transparent, not the color. I tend to avoid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I read about the brittleness of it. So, you know, I'm just taking a risk, but whatever, dude. So. I assume it's this one, right? Okay. Okay. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can hear the difference, but, okay. So this is the regular Sanwa, and then the padded one. Not bad. So yeah, not bad. So, <clears throat> now after I line it. Muy bien, dude. There you go. So, that's one button down. Whew! Yeah. One button down. <laughs> oh, shit. I just, like, try and sink that shit in. Okay. Here. Okay, so I'm going to put them next to the microphone, and you're going to hear the difference. You know which one's which, right? I'll say which one's anyway. So, this is the normal, the normal Sanwa, right? Now, the padded one. Big difference. Surprisingly, it's a little bit of rubber on the same product, right? Yeah, it's, it's, it's surprisingly good. Like, yeah. So yeah, you'll hear that. These sound just as loud as these. 
without the the silencer. I'll say these are even brighter, because this probably the plastic that these are made out of are a little bit more solid, better made than the crystal plastic, which is probably the lighter. So I'm just keeping an eye out on my um, placement of the buttons. Because I'm lining them up to the letters, and I know that they're not... Okay, one thing that I've noticed is that they're not as tight. They rotate if you grab them. I don't know if that's ever going to be a problem right now. I think... Well, I haven't tied them on yet, so maybe that won't be a problem. But right now, my first notice thing, I'm noticing that, you know. I don't know if it's a problem. We'll see. The button rotates or the art rotates? No, the but the the button itself, the button itself. Because it might be the plex is not thick enough to create um, a tight bond. I know that Focus Attack provided two thicknesses of the plexi. Uh, they snap in. It's just that maybe that they're not being pushed. You know. The thickness isn't big enough to like maintain the grip at a full like it pushes in tight and it stays tight. Um, instead, it just goes in comfortably, snaps in, but then it doesn't um, stay in place. Yeah, it's all pushed in because um, I was also, as I was saying, um, they have two different thicknesses, um, 0.6 and 0.8. I got the 0.6 because um, apparently the bad things I heard about the 0.8 was that. Um, the, it was just thick enough where it wouldn't allow the buttons to snap in and they'll pop out once in a while You know, you wouldn't know when so I'm like, but the the downside of the point six is that the upper strip here Might bow a bit, but I don't care for that. I'd rather have buttons in place than a little bit of bowing plastic I just don't care There is no, no there's no point seven That's what I think should have been like the proper number yeah, yeah, they should. I think it's just like a restriction from manufacturing. I think that's the problem. It's like, you know, wherever they get it from, they only supply those dimensions. There's a couple things. I bought something as an experiment to see if I would, if it would work or not. I think it won't. I looked into it and I was like, eh, it doesn't seem so. So, for example, here I bought, it's like, a, it, was, it was like cents. It didn't cost even a dollar. Uh, I think it's a Seimitsu. I think it's a Seimitsu. I'll just check now. It is. Yeah, it's a Seimitsu shaft and dust washer set. Like, I know that the shaft won't fit on the Korean lever, that's fine. But I was like, okay, I wanted a dust washer that's grey to go with this. But I think that it, the collar is too wide, it's too big. So let me just show you what I mean. So, I like this grey dust washer, alright? So it suits this look, but if you grab, let's say, this lever and you put it through, it's just got heaps of space. It's not, it's not going to protect the dust completely. You can sand it. No, no, no. It's not sand it. Like, um, it's just, it's too big. It's just like, no, it, it can do that. It's fine. Like, for example, I was using, I did the mistake and I used the same washer as the Sanwa. And it was the same problem, right? It was the same thing. Um, but I can use... Let me just grab my stuff real quick. Oh, there it is. Hello. So yeah, this is the normal one. So if you put the lever through it, it's it basically holds in perfectly. There's no, there's no like, um, loose point. So I don't know. Aesthetically, this is shit, right? But dust, preventing dust from going in, the best choice. Aesthetic as fuck, but there's a little bit of a loose point. So I don't know what what's the vote. What do you guys think? Aesthetics or hygiene? I'm gonna run this one for a bit and see how I feel. I can always swap it. It's an easy swap. So what we're gonna do is first things first. I think I'm gonna. Just start connecting these in place. So, yeah. Ah, shit.
try it on and do an electric if you miss that's not the one if you get it that's the one easy right so this is the thing I made I didn't realize that I forgot what these buttons are supposed to mean up here oh we got the old one we got the guide we got the guide okay so that would be L2 no no L1 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 is black and white And X. Nice. <laughs> okay. So, there's that. Then we've got to add the lever. With this, pretty sure this is the way you put it. Okay. This has always been annoying. Putting the first screw on is so annoying. You should do a one hour stream just pushing that button. Yikes, dude. Gonna need some bigger donations for that kind of stream. So don't forget, yes, the switch direction. Yeah, this is the same way I put it on, so I remember. So don't forget there's a ground. Don't forget to tie the ground. Super important. You have to put it behind. Okay. Let's plug in the last bit. So if you see here, I don't know if you guys can see it, it does pop up sometimes, so it does a bit of a bridging. You'll see it happen once in a while. Not the end of the world, I really don't care, really. Um, it would be nice if it stayed down, but whatever. Because I'm pretty sure there's a screw somewhere here, I don't know exactly where on the top, that if you had like a drilled hole on the plexi at that point, you can just stick it in there as well. So yeah, we've got the last bit, so obviously this does not fit the aesthetic, right? It's a bit problematic. So we're upgrading, going to a white lever, we're getting that white lever action. So we're going gonna, gonna to use the grey dust washer for now. And we're going to put the little e-clip right here. And I lose it immediately. Where did it go? I don't know. Where did it go? Where did it go? This is crazy. <laughs> oh man. I think I have to grab the e-clip from my son from my son what? That's the only e-clip I've got left. Shit. I have to take out the e-clip from this. And I like this goddamn thing. I don't want to like mess with it. I can't even feel it. Beautiful stick. I wish all you do. Thanks, man. It looks nice, man. I'm like looking forward to it, to use it, and I can't even watch him lose another. If I lose the other one, it's over. Like I literally have nothing left. Okay.
Now it's just a little loose. The spring and the actuator, everything. Fuck. Let's see if this E clip will do the trick. Okay. <sighs> okay. Let's just look at. Right. Let's see. Okay. There you go. Woo! Okay. Yikes. But yeah. Ready for business. Not not bad. Not bad. I gotta say. So if you see that little bit of a Boeing on top, that's the the, the people the thing that um. People are complaining about, but doesn't bother me to be honest. So yeah, it's very quiet. It's it feels strange, and the button feels a little bit softer. So I might have to get used to that, but that's fine. The white um the white lever is just just fits. It's very nice, dude. There you go, there you go dude. MTS Panthera, dude. Dude, you need a place of tech and do that shit. Feel the buttons now. How they feel? Normal ones? Oh, yeah. yeah. Like silence. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I'm just gonna pop that here. Very nice, dude. Very nice, sir. There you go, dude. Looking clean. It's a weird feel. I do, I do agree it's weird, but I think I'll get used to it. Like, it's just a matter of time. It, my main concern is that it would hurt, but it doesn't hurt. For example, uh, Hayabusa buttons just hurt, flat out. When you press those buttons, it, you feel shockwaves going down your bones. It's just it's terrible. Sunwas don't have that problem. Um, yeah, it is, a, it is a quiet case. But this is like, it's just pushing it to the next level now. It's like super quiet. So yeah. <clears throat> break, a, break a leg? No, break a leg. Leg is unbreakable. And I got rid of the red lever, and I put a white one, which is what it needed. <laughs> yeah, I did. Thanks, thanks, man. Mm. Now that that's done, now that that's done, we have to move on to the second stick. 